Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Drew and I'm back today with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I made this DIY Greek paddle for one of my friends. She crossed as a Delta this spring, so I decided to make her a little gift. I started this video like in the middle of the process, so the other half is already painted, but I'm going to have all the links that I have for the stuff that I bought will be down in the description box below, but everything was bought from either Amazon or Hobby Lobby, so yeah. So basically I started off with this paint. This paint I didn't buy, I already had red paint from before. So I just used the paint and I did one layer of the paint and I let it dry and then I came back and I did another layer. So I did two layers on both sides. But while I'm doing this, for this paddle, one thing that I will say, if you are coming up with a paddle for one of your friends that is going into a Greek sorority or fraternity, or if you're making one for yourself, I would say the biggest thing to do is to just think about ideas beforehand. What me and my friends did, because we did this as, as a surprise for our friend, we went on TikTok and Pinterest and just looked at a lot of different paddles. We looked to see what different aspects we liked about it. And then we went on Canva, we drafted one up, all agreed on a design, and then we just made it from there. So that's what I suggest. Look at what people have done for inspiration and then make your one from there. y'all if you see me like touching the paddle it's because this paint i've had for years now so there were a lot of like just random pieces i don't even know what the correct term is for the pieces but they were just like random pieces of like dried paint in there so i was just using my hand to get those pieces off this paint that i used was pretty good like it washed off very easily so i had no issue with just like touching it to get those pieces off And don't forget the sides, y'all. Make sure you get the sides, everything, so it's a full coat of whatever color that you're using. If you're deciding to do two different colors, one thing that I will suggest is to get painter's tape and just put it down the middle and then do one side, let it dry, do the other side. So now we're moving on to the letters. Um, so I'm using spray paint for this one because the, I guess, coating of the paint wasn't as important for these because a lot of these will be covered up or are small. So we just used the white paint. I got the spray paint from, and not from Amazon, but from Walmart. If you are working with spray paint or just any paint in general, please make sure that you're doing this in a well-ventilated area because you don't wanna like mess up your head, trigger your headaches or anything like that. But the letters came from Amazon. Now we're back with these papers, these like glitter sheets of cardstock. These we just got from Michaels. And all I'm doing is I'm tracing out the letters here because you'll see that I'm actually gonna put the sparkly paper on top of the bigger Greek letters. So I just traced it out and then I took scissors and I cut them out. I will suggest if you have an X-Acto knife, that will probably be easier to use. I have one, but this was, like I said, it was a very last minute. So I didn't have the X-Acto knife at my house. My X-Acto knife was at school, so I didn't use that. But if you are gonna use an X-Acto knife, also please stay safe, do not cut yourself. Even if you're using scissors, please stay safe, do not cut yourself. But all I did was just trace everything and then I cut it out. And you see, I bought two things of the paper, but I only needed one. But I will say with doing things like this, make sure you buy what you need in advance or whatever you may need. It's better to have more than not have enough. I just went back to the store and returned it after. And it was pretty easy to do. And I will say you also could have just did like spray paint 
in the glitter and black for this but for the look that we were going for we wanted the white lettering on the we wanted the white background of the letters when you look at the paddle from the side with the glitter black from the front which is why we decided to go with doing this Okay, so now that we have everything cut out, I'm gonna work on gluing all of them on to their individual letters. I'm gonna be using some E6000 glue. You can use any glue that you think is strong enough, super glue. I probably wouldn't use hot glue because sometimes that can either just leave too much of a bubbly space in between the two items that you're gluing or sometimes the thing could just come off completely. So I would either use E6000 or super glue or something of that nature. So now we're back to the paddle. Now I'm gonna start placing everything. Um, you can't see it, but I do have my iPad in the area just looking at the design. So I always kept the design next to me and now I'm just placing the stuff on to see if everything fits the way that we thought it would fit. Some things didn't fit the same way, but just placing it in different areas, it still ended up working out. So now you see on the side of the Dust Sigma Theta, I'm putting her line number and her line name, just deciding how I want it to look. And then at the top is her charter or is her chapter name excuse me y'all and then the year that their organization was founded so now i'm gluing it on i'm using e6000 for this part as well you could use wood glue but i didn't have any wood glue on me at the moment so e6000 will work one thing that I will say is if you are using E6000, you do want to give it enough time to properly dry. You'll see at the end of this that something started to move, but all I did was I left it in a box laying down flat on its back and everything dried up perfectly fine. So just give it some time to rest and everything will glue the right way. For this part, it would be it would have been nice if I had the E6000 glue with the precision tip, but I wasn't going to do that. So I literally just took a toothpick, as you can see on the side. I'm going to bring it up closer for y'all in a minute. And all I did was I put some E6000 down on that sheet of paper, rolled the toothpick in it, put some of that rolled glue on the back of the letter, and slapped the letter onto the paddle. So it took a little finagling, but <laughs> you can get it done or just use the E6000 that comes with the precision with the precision tip included. But yeah, y'all, we're almost done. This was a pretty quick thing. I think the hardest part of getting this paddle together was just finding the items. It was so hard to find the Greek letters. It took forever. And then also just finding letters that were small enough or big enough for what we were looking for just took a long time. But as long as you have the idea and you know where to get things from, which is why I'm gonna be leaving all y'all the links in the description box down below. This is a perfectly easy DIY to do. It didn't take much time at all. You just have to think about the design and after that, you're pretty good. But yeah, y'all, if y'all have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below and I'll get back to any of them. If you have any questions like where we got anything from, how we made it, design, anything like that, let me know down below. Right now you can see me putting the pearls on. These are some fake pearls that we got from Hobby Lobby. So when you're thinking about design for all of this, biggest thing that I would keep in mind is just try to make it really personal to the person that you're making it for or for yourself because a lot of paddles are made, but you just wanna make it personal to them. So putting like their line number on there, their line name, chapter name all that sort of stuff it's just the details that make it super important and show that like you actually are listening and care about the person that you're making this for
and we're almost done with the video today so make sure you follow me on instagram at i'm silly drew to stay up to date with everything that i post because of course i post on there way more often and make sure you subscribe and notification bell so that you know when more videos come out from me and also that you can see the vlog of when we presented this to our friend and when she just came out it was a super cute moment so stay tuned for that but here is the final look of it and i'm going to include a clip soon of it on her bed with all of her stuff but make sure you watch the video to see the full surprising reaction to all of this but it came out really nice i just let it sit in air dry for like 12 or so hours and it was perfectly fine